Hello viewers, welcome back. This is Dr. Sumit Bakshi. Through this video, I am going to unwrap the confusion regarding convenient sampling and purposive sampling. Many of you must be knowing what is convenient sampling and what is purposive sampling. But besides that, students always mix up these two methods. For details of convenience and purposive sampling, you can click on this I button on the top right of the screen. Let's come straight to the difference between convenient sampling and purposive sampling. Let me make you understand through examples. In convenient sampling, example is a survey of job satisfaction of employees working in a hotel industry in relation to their working hours. Now, if I want to collect sample through convenient sampling method, I would approach those hotels which are near to me or will collect data from those employees who are easily accessible to me. I will keep on collecting data from very first hotel employee with whom I will interact till I will reach my desired sample size. On the other hand, in purposive sampling, let me take the same example, a survey of job satisfaction of married female employees working in a hotel industry in relation to their working hours. Here the difference is, now purpose of my study is to focus only on married female employees. Now if I want to collect data, so using purposive sampling method, first I will reject all the male hotel employees in my sample selection process. So here I'm going to reject all the male members, male employees. All the male employees will be rejected. So in my sample selection process, I will have only female employees. Then from female employees, my first question would be, are you married or unmarried? Then as per the response, I will collect data only from married female employees to fulfill purpose of my study. From above examples, we understood that in convenient sampling, sample is selected based on availability. Easily available samples are selected or those members are selected who are close to hand or first one to find. Researchers do not need any prior information for selection of sample in case of convenient sampling. Whereas in purposive sampling, researchers think thoroughly to fulfill the purpose of the study. In above example, researcher will carefully reject those members who will not meet expected criteria. In purposive sampling, researcher will select those members who can provide maximum information. In above example, suppose researcher came across a female married employee but she lives alone due to work. Researcher will reject member, that member too because she does not meet expected criteria as per his judgment. Researcher wants to study challenges of married female employees but those married female employees who bear responsibility of household along with job. Also, in case of purposive sampling, researcher need prior information for selection, whether she is married or not, whether she lives with family or not, or researcher can go further fem for female employees having one kid, two kids, three kids. That's all with this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you find this video helpful in better understanding of convenient sampling and purposive sampling. Please press like button and subscribe to Dr. Sumit Bakshi if you like my video. And don't forget to share with your peers if you find this video worth. You can follow me on Facebook and connect with me on LinkedIn. Links I have mentioned in the description box below. Thank you.